Hey y'all, if you're hearing my voice or you're watching me right now, you're probably here for a podcast. And honestly, if you're not here for that, you might as well just stay anyway, because it's probably going to get pretty interesting. Look, we've been thinking about a podcast for an awful long time. We thought as soon as we started making these videos that there would be some way that we could expand it, and a podcast just felt like the most natural place to go. So here we are, lots of thought, lots of studying, a little bit of planning, a little bit of investing, and we've got a podcast. And to be honest with you, we don't know what the heck we're doing. So we're going to wing it and we're going to put out the pilot. And it's just what it sounds like. It's a pilot because we know there's probably some things that we can improve on, but we'd rather quit thinking about it and quit over analyzing it, quit over recording it and put it out to you and let you see what you think. So if you love it, let us know. If you hate it, you can let us know that too. But if you got some comments on how we can make it better, that's what we'd greatly appreciate from you. So I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to let this thing run. And we'll see how it goes. Really appreciate all y'all's support, and I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one. Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of Check Your Feelings. I'm the Dad Bod Veteran. And with me, as always, is my co-host, Kelly. Me! Kelly. Hey, Welcome. everybody. I'm Kelly. Hey, thanks. Thanks. I'm excited. Are you happy this to be here? I am happy to be here. First time. I mean, this is... Long time listener, first this, time caller? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And how long have you been listening to the Dad Bod Veteran? Um... If it's less than a year, that's not good enough. <laughs> okay. It's definitely because I've been doing more, it longer than that, and I'm your brother. It's definitely more than a year. By the way, she's my sister uh, of blood. Yep. At least to the best of our knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a 23 in me, but. What? Anyway, so we're, we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're here <laughs> in the Dadbod Veteran Studios, which Dad is Veteran. actually me and Mrs. Dadbod's sunroom mm-hmm. uh, that we have converted for a short period of time for the purpose of this and Possibly more podcasts? Yeah, maybe. Like more than one? Yeah, maybe. Like we might do this again? Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. And there's, you guys can't see it, but there's all kinds of great studio equipment in here. It's really cool. Uh, it's, there's lights, there's microphones, there's stuff. And there's also two awesome people in the background. Yep. We have the beautiful and talented Mrs. Dadbod veteran supporting us with cue cards and keeping us in line-ish. Yes. Uh, and we also have BJ in the morning, BJ who in the morning. is our audio video engineer and producer who's doing all the important stuff behind the scenes. They're awesome. We really appreciate both of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much Thank for being you. here for this mm. first uh, video. So, Kelly. Yes. A lot of people don't know who you are, believe they it don't. or not. They know who I am ish. Uh, You're kind of a big deal. I. You got, you got like people that know you. That. I, you know, it's crazy that you would say that. I'll tell you a story about that. So yesterday, uh, we were we were going to get a camper top for the truck. Okay. Um, and we went to Joe's Truck and Auto. Joe's Truck and Auto. Love you guys. Somerville, <laughs> South Carolina. Chris, four-wheel drive place in the southeast. Um, <laughs> and uh, I walk into Joe's Truck and Auto, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm here to get the camper top. And they're like, you're that dude. And I'm like, yeah, I am. That's so we, crazy. I mean, it was like... Not just that one, but then we went to my favorite restaurant, the Ice House, Ice House, Somerville, South Carolina, best place you can go. (laughs) They also, uh, as me and Mrs. Dad Bod were eating our lunch, Mm -hmm. guy next to us, I get up to go use the bathroom. Yeah. And he says, are you? And I said, yes, I am. Did you have your hat on? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did. But that was twice in one day. That's crazy. That was twice in one day. And I've I've got to figure out how to deal with these situations because I I love it. It's absolutely cool. But I don't know what to do yet. Like, I'm afraid, I'm like, oh, I kind of go stupid a little bit. Really? Like, I don't know what to do. You just act like a person. You just be you. I, yeah, but uh, no, nobody likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Actual me. It would be a bad idea if I was just me. Yeah. Uh, so I've got to work on that. And I, I really feel bad when I don't say anything like cool or react appropriately, like give hugs or something. I feel like I should give hugs or something. Mm. You know? I think it's awesome. Some people I'm just, aren't huggers. I just, I'm just so... I don't know what to do. Yeah. But what I would bet, you do? What would I do? You? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, like if I came to you, like, yo, you're Kelly from the podcast. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, what's up? 
See? Nice to meet you. Shake but, their but hand. That's what you think you would do. No, but that but is what if what you're I... at the restaurant with with uh, BJ in the morning and yeah. all of a sudden somebody came up to you and said that? Hey, no uh, hugs. No hugs. No hugs? No hugs. No hugs. We don't give hugs. We're not. Yeah, all we're right, not Mrs. huggers. Mrs. Dadbot has let me know that we don't give hugs. She said no. No hugs. Mm-mm. Why do we? Oh, I know why we don't give hugs. She doesn't want me to give hugs. Okay. <laughs> I don't. She's just. <laughs> just some people aren't huggers. What? Why don't we go into why you don't give hugs? I'm sure Kelly can relate to this one. Okay. Um, so we were going to talk about you, but we're going to go straight into why I shouldn't give hugs okay. to f- people that recognize me. Okay. What would you think would be a good reason that I shouldn't give hugs? Uh, well, like I said, people, some people just aren't huggers. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Um, and you know, it could look bad. Look bad? Yeah. Like, like how Keanu does it? Because Keanu is perfect. I, I, Have you ever seen Keanu when he's around another woman? No. If you ever watch the pictures of Keanu, he never actually touches them. But he hugs them? No, he doesn't hug them. Like he he never Matrix hugs. Stuff? But like even even when they're, you know, taking pictures together or something like that. Yeah. And he has his hand behind them, you can see that there's a gap between his hand mm-hmm. and the actual person. Yeah. He's well known for this. It's you can look at all the pictures of studied. him. Yeah, I've studied and it's like Keanu's great at it. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to be like Keanu. I guess so. So it's like virtual handshakes? Yeah, I mean, my, um, no my generation made it this way for you. Why? Well, let's talk. Let's unpack that. <laughs> so first of all, you are my younger sister. Correct? Well, I'm your only sister, but yeah, I'm the yeah. youngest of three. That we know of. That we know of. That right? we know of. Um, my dad was a good looking guy, y'all. He really was. Takes after me. He was. Um, Sorry, what? Do what? So <laughs> being my younger sister, that means that you may not fall within the same generation as me. I don't. I am not. I'm not a Gen Xer. What are you? I'm a millennial. Uh, what? <laughs> you okay? No. What are you? <laughs> a millennial. Uh, a what? <laughs> <laughs> I am a person <sighs> born in a certain year that you don't like. Okay. Did you swallow that one? I did. Just get it down. It's better. <laughs> so that means you're not a Gen Xer. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not. Um, for you especially. I think I'm great. That's I don't problem. necessarily That's have the all of the traits That's the problem. of a millennial. That's the problem. There's no self-reflection. No look in That's... the mirror. There's no, there's no like, am I really? No. Mm. It's just that you're great. Um, we all have to agree to this disagree with you. This is a trait of the millennials that the Gen X is struggling with. They huh. really do. Because we absolutely, uh, we're just actually happy to be alive because our entire youth was there to kill us. Um, and it was unsuccessful for most of us. Yeah. Um, and we're a very small group of people. But I mean, I still did some of the things that you talk about. Like I drank out of a water hose and like I waited for dad to do his little whistle and we had to come in, you know, when the street lights came on, like I experienced all those things, but at the same time, like but I was... as a millennial, you experienced them, right? Just because of when you were born, it's different. Got it. Just because of that. Okay. Purely. One hundred percent. So maybe millennials think that Gen Xers are too close minded. <sighs> yeah. Well, Gen Xers think millennials are wrong. <laughs> I mean, we get along just fine once you realize we're right. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So, so I think that's why that's why we're here. <laughs> is that it, are we just supposed to compare our, our ideals about? Well, I think that the 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 generations go in cycles. Um, Gen Xers being how we were raised and everything that we had to go through in order to be here still today. Mm. Um, we're the peak uh, of generations and then it's you know there's peaks and valleys right and then there's going to be another peak because if you look at gen alpha these guys are rock solid they're <laughs> the gen x squared gen x reincarnated i don't they even know what us. gen alpha is okay so if i'm x yeah you're actually y believe it or okay. not millennials are y yeah we just call them millennials i don't even know why we call them millennials uh, doesn't make any sense honestly then we've got gen z which is our children right yeah. and then we've got this new generation the gen alpha that are just these rough and rugged, crazy kids that also have technology as well, mm-hmm. but they're doing the same things that the Gen Xers did. So because they have cycle. crunchy parents? I, I don't know if they're crunchy. What, what does that mean, crunchy? So, like, a, a crunchy parent is, like, the all organic. They live off of, like, you know, like, the essential oils th- and, the, you know, they're non-vaxxers, and that's what we call crunchy. I don't know if it's that or if it's just that they're maybe their parents are more distracted by the world as you know okay 
other parents. They're not as helicoptery as yeah. us Gen Xers were, because Gen Xers were helicopter parents. Yeah. We'll admit it, we're helicopter parents. Um, and that's for a good reason, because our parents were the exact opposite. Yeah. You know, they were the, leave yeah. us out to dry, and maybe they'll survive, maybe they won't, who cares, <laughs> kind of parents. So so they're, they're, they've over-rotated in a different direction, and now we have this Gen Alpha that's out there doing the same crazy stuff that we did. Well, hopefully they'll fix a lot of the stuff that we messed up. Hopefully. Oh, no, no, it's just going to get worse. We'll this, see. It's get worse. <laughs> this is the cycle continues, the violent cycle of all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's where we are. And you're a millennial. Mm-hmm. Gen Xers don't like millennials. Uh, yeah, but we so, we, so we, we've we confirmed that. We can... Yeah, we, we did. And we have a brother, don't we? We do. And he's older than us. He, yeah. He's the big brother. He, well, he's not the big brother. He's not the big brother. He's bro- the I'm oldest the big brother. brother. You are the big brother. I am the big brother. And and he's like medium sized and, and I'm like fun sized. Well, he's older and he does big brother traits. Yeah. He's very uh, nurturing and all that stuff. Does big brother stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Do you have any kids? I do. Yeah. yeah? I have three kids, three Why? boys. Why? Yeah. Um, so when two people love each other. <laughs> <laughs> And that's BJ in the morning, by the way. That's BJ in the he's morning. He's the father of all three of those. He is. Uh, he's, we'll he's... unpack that all in another episode. <laughs> how that he's got my to person. Be. He's your, per- your he is, person. He's my person. Your person. Yeah. That's the only title you get? No, well, I mean, he's my husband, but yeah, oh, I, call husband, him, husband, I call him my husband. person. That's the legal structure jumping in right there. Right. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. But like, he's also my best friend, so. Oh, that is so sweet. Mm-hmm. BJ, she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So we've decided to do a podcast. We have. <sighs> Why? First of all. So we were both on a road trip. Like you were on a road trip and I was on a road trip. Remember? Yeah. When you called me. Yeah. I do that. Yeah, you do. You I do, do. that. Mrs. Some... Dadbot was with me and yeah. said road trip. Yeah. Yeah. So so you called me and we just started like spitballing and like we were riffing and we were going off on these tangents and you were like, you know what would be great? If we made a podcast. It would be cool. Because we're hilarious. We are hilarious. We are. It's Some of the that... stuff we were talking about was actually pretty inappropriate, but... It was very inappropriate. And that's why we got to this name. Yeah. The Check Your Feelings podcast. Right. Yeah, because it's like, if you're going to watch this, you should probably mm-hmm. be ready. Disclaimer, I'm not necessarily as clean as this guy. I don't Disclaimer, keep it clean. I am. <laughs> I don't keep it clean. For advertisers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. So we, uh, we came up with the idea mm-hmm. that we're going to do a podcast. Now, now lots of people have asked me to do a podcast. I've ever since I've started this, there's been many people that were like, you should do your own podcast. You're gonna be awesome. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel like that would be okay. with just be more myself. And then the idea came up of having you here, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Because I'm, let's be honest, I'm the entertainment. <sighs> In more ways than one. Yes. <laughs> that is the correct answer. <laughs> you are the entertainment. You see, I'm the glue. I'm like the glue that binds everything together. Mm-hmm. That's what I am. That's how I. That's the function I serve in our real sibling relationship. Our very dysfunctional family. It's not dysfunctional. <laughs> I mean, what is functional anyway? And there is no such thing as there's functional no, or normal. No, and and there's not any of that, that at all. Mm-mm. No, but between you and uh, our brother, I'm the glue that kind of keeps it all together. Okay. And I appreciate being that. You know, somebody's I mean, got to do it. I mean, actually, you really are, because like all of our family gatherings, we come to you, mm-hmm. and you're like always the host, mm-hmm. and you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You didn't necessarily serve the function in our childhood as like okay. the glue. That's okay. I was a middle child, yeah. and uh, there's middle child syndrome that rears its ugly head, and especially being a middle child Gen Xer. Yeah. Hmm. I'm very happy to be here. That's all I can say. <laughs> to, to have gotten this far in I your life? Shouldn't, I shouldn't be here on many different occasions because of things that I did in my youth, but mm-hmm. I'm, I'm here anyway. Yeah. So we, we're we starting this podcast. We're going to have fun with it. Yeah. We're going to do this again. Yeah. All right. We're going to do more of these. Yeah. That's so awesome. I'm excited. That's I'm so excited. Awesome. Maybe like every two weeks or something we'll, we'll yeah, possibly. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what the viewers think. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we keep doing this? I we haven't even started it, but we're going to keep doing it. <laughs> if I don't get ripped apart by the DBV viewers and fans. The DBV nation. Yeah. Oh, they, it's they a are nation. An, it's a nation. It's a nation. It's a nation. You guys know what it is. It's a DBV. <laughs> it's on the hat. Um, no. We'll yeah. see. So uh, let's talk about growing up. Hmm. Got any great stories about growing up? With you or just in general? Just in general. Or with me. It doesn't matter. 
with me in general. I mean, you were you were a lot of fun. Um, you used to hold me down and smear peanut butter on my face mm-hmm. and let the dog lick it off. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, you used mm-hmm. to play a typewriter game on my forehead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where what, you would, like, what, what would happen when we had the carriage return on that typewriter? <laughs> we had to get the, you know, had to get the paper. Going, what do we have you to do? You would smack my head. Smack your head. That's right. That's that's how a typewriter works. <laughs> this is how a typewriter. Oops, I messed up. And what well, happened when I when I erased? When you erased, you would like use the the like palm of your hand, not uh-huh. the palm, but what is like the butt of your hand? <laughs> and, like, just <laughs> just like rub my forehead oh, sorry, until it was mistake. red. It was like the original exfoliation. <laughs> and how do you feel? How does that make you feel? I thinking mean, about that. I was no. a lot tougher, I guess, because mm-hmm. of because of going through it. But I really thought you were a horrible human. <sighs> yeah. And, and all this time, I was just trying to make you stronger. I know. And yeah. here, here we are. I'm a horrible human because of it. No, I said I did. You think did. So you don't that... think I'm a horrible human anymore? No, no, no. That's good. I mean, you don't do it anymore. So. Well, I'm too lazy. Fingers crossed it doesn't get lazy. crazy on a Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. We're having Thanksgiving coming up. I'm excited about that. We have super fun on Thanksgiving. Oh my god, it's, this one's going to be crazy. This yeah. one's going to be really crazy. Yeah. Because we're bringing an extra three sailors. Yep. From the USS Harry S. Truman mm-hmm. to our Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. Uh, and they are part of the deck department on that ship. And for those of you who are in the Navy and you know what the uh, deck apes are like, they're rough. Yeah. They're rough. Now, now my son is one of them, but. I don't think he's rough. Oh, I mean, you it, haven't been around him lately. Well, it's kind of crazy. He's like jacked. He's he's, he's jacked. a big boy. He is. He's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all his friends are bigger. He reminds me a lot of you when you were in high school. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I mean, he does. He is. Aww. He's just like your he's my baby. Your, like your mini me. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> he's such oh, my baby. Squeeze he's always squeeze it. I love it. So it's my baby. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Thanksgiving uh, is going to be off the chain, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, uh, Mrs. Dadbot's brother and his girlfriend are going to be there as well. So we're going to have a new added flavor there. Yeah. They're lots of fun. They are lots They're of fun. They're lots of fun. So yeah, I got to meet them. They I were, know. Yeah. We went to the beer festival. And I don't even drink beer. I don't drink beer. But I did. A lot. I drink a lot. You okay. did. And I didn't. For the first time. <laughs> I did not drink a lot. He was. He was a DD. It was I, pretty. I was actually a full-blown DD. It was great. Yeah, it was great. It was great. You guys are very loud. Yeah. Well. Very loud. I don't know if you've met you, but... You're also very loud. I've never met the intoxicated me. Oh, God. Uh, and I'm probably okay with that. So, honestly, I really think the, the intoxicated you is kind of where, like, your whole, like, dad bod personality came from. Because huh. intoxicated you, drunkle, that's what we drunkle. we call you lovingly in our family. Drunkle, like, we know that you're, you're, like, here when you come up with these voices. And it was usually, like, a Scottish man. Like that a was a old Scotchman. Yeah, uh, when that guy came out, we, yeah, <laughs> knew, we always knew it was so like worst time when to... I get stuck. Really? Yeah, I've been stuck before. There's been sometimes Mrs. Dad, but veteran can attest. Uh, I've gotten stuck uh, in voices, and it's funny because uh, uh, my niece, one of my nieces, which aren't your children, those are my brother's children. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when they say it's time to go. Yeah. When the drunkle comes out. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. when it's when like it's time to go. Yep. Cut it off. We used to play rock band. It's going to be real ugly. Oh, yeah, rock band. God. That was fun. If, if you guys you have got, never played rock band intoxicated, you should start. You get so competitive, though. I've got to win. Yeah. I mean, just because just because I'm intoxicated and we're playing rock band doesn't mean that I'm not a Gen Xer and I'm not out to get win. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's not going to change. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, just to be clear, though, like my at least my early part of the millennials, like we, we weren't necessarily that, that group that got, you know, trophies for nothing. Like we, we earned our trophies. We did. Did you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I was always, I wasn't really in like a team sport. You were a cheerleader though. Yeah. A high school cheerleader. I was a middle school cheerleader and an elementary school cheerleader. So you were a lifelong cheerleader. I was. Yeah. And then you got married to the detriment of mom. (laughs) (laughs) Because you were a cheerleader when I played football as well. Yeah. Right? Um, no, well. You were on yeah, the JV. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I yeah. was on JV. So I, I never was... actually like cheered for you because oh, you were sucks. varsity. That would have been hard. It would have been weird. To have to cheer for your brother. I cheer you on in life. Do you? All the time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm not your biggest fan, but like I'm a fan. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So we've got a little list here that Mrs. Dadbot has put on for us. So we got to kind of stay on script, okay? okay? We're just gonna stay on. Script. All right. Sorry. Sorry. That's me. I'm I'm all over the. Oh my god. What? Okay, guys. For those of you, that, <laughs> for those of you that are listening and can't see this, he just put on his old man grandpa glasses. Like, and he these, didn't put them on. They're like on the bridge of his nose. And these readers. <laughs> You All have right, to so, have readers. Oh, well, because I'm a Gen Xer. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know one that doesn't at this point in life. I mean, we're all over forty. Some of us are like crusting on sixty. Yeah. Um, but. All of a sudden, I can't read anything. I mean, it, it was to the point where we were doing this, and my arm wasn't long enough <laughs> to actually be able to read what was on the page. And then my uh, my eye doctor says, you need to get readers, and I was totally against it. But now I completely understand it. Yeah, but why but on the, the bigger, end of your nose? No, because on the end of your nose is important, because I can still see the paper when yeah. I look down through my readers, but I can also look at you and see normally. Because if I did like this, it's actually a little bit fuzzy. So I can read the paper this way. I, and I, I was completely against it, but now I completely understand it. And my boss, my boss did this all the time, and he still does it. Uh, and it just irked me why he did that. But now I completely understand it, and I totally embrace it. Um, so we're reading the, re- the, the re- using the readers here. Oh, it's my God. Horrible. That was pretty great. Uh, you like that? Thank you for that. I mean, you're going to get there if you're not there already. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm-mm. You know that's what I said? I said the same thing? Yeah. I wasn't actually going to get there. But see this thing called age? <laughs> It happens. It's not happening. It me. happens. I'm not going to let it no, happen. No, it happens. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen. Things are going to hurt and break. <laughs> okay. Like, I wake up every morning with a new pain. Like, I didn't know that could hurt. Yeah. Like, the hair on my toes. How does the hair on my toes hurt? Oh, my hurt? God. How does it hurt? I, why do you have hair on your toes? You have hair on your toes. I don't. Yes, you do. No. You're lying. Everybody has, everybody has hair on their toes. You might shave it. You might wax it. You might deny it. But you've got hair on your toes. Okay, maybe I shave it. Okay. See? <laughs> and they may be little fine little frog it's hairs so or whatever. It's so gross. It's so weird. But it's natural. So when they, but, with, but when you wake up one morning and they start to hurt. Your toe hairs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like you didn't even know that that was possible. I mean, you're not that much older than me. But three years is a lot of miles. I guess. It's a lot of miles. I guess. It's a lot of hours. <laughs> and you got to remember, is. I also have gravity against me. Okay. Yeah. Because for the people that can't see this video... I'm not a small person. Yeah. I'm, I wear the dad bod name well. <laughs> How uh, tall are you? I'm six. I was six four, but I think I'm actually starting to shrink now. Yeah. I'm like six three now. Osteoporosis kicking in. Osteo something. <laughs> Osteo something. All I know is I got pains in the knees, pains in the hips, pains in the ankle. Anything that rotates or hinges or moves or something like that, it's now hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Vitamin I. I take it in the morning and I take it at night. I? Vitamin I. What the heck is that? Never, you know what? You're, you're in the medical field. I know, Vitamin but I don't I, know what that is. Ibuprofen. Oh, okay. I thought you it's were saying that. I was I. like, that's Yeah, you're going to take it like it's a vitamin now. Oh, my God. This is just part of getting old. You okay. See, this is how I can tell that that three years is a long span. Plus, you don't have gravity fighting against you because I've been a big guy all my life. It's true. And that when gravity pushes big guys down, it pushes have a hard. Lower center of gravity. Yeah. Uh, like the weight. Yeah. The weight of the world. <laughs> It's on my knees and my hip. It checks. It checks out. You'll get there. It's going to hurt. Okay. BJ probably, it probably hurts BJ already. He does. Right. He does do some dad groans. Does he? Yeah. When he's like getting off, off the couch. There's like when you a, get out of bed in the morning, there's it's one just of like, it's, it's like, oh God. All right. I got to prepare myself for this. <laughs> What's today going to bring? Oh, look, my heel. Why does my heel hurt? I didn't sleep with my heel hurting. Plantar fasciitis. What is, that? what is it? That's when your heel hurts. That's what it's called? Yeah. There's a name for it? There's a name for it. It's not and just it like pain? shoots up the back of your leg? Yeah. Yeah, that's called plantar fasciitis. Why? Reasons? Who names these things? I don't know. Like, who names plantar? Who came up with it? It's like there are words in the dictionary that don't make sense. Well, because all the Let's medical. Let's name a pain after that. <laughs> The drug names is what I can't deal with. What? Ibuprofen? And No, any drug name. They're stupid. Like, they don't make any sense. No, I like... I, some of them are really funny. Which one? I don't know. But some <laughs> of them... I see the commercials. I see the drug commercials. I'm like, that's hilarious that you made it, like... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's some of them. They're they, ridiculous. They, they, but they sound like the problem. Yeah. They make it sound like a problem, but they put a scienty name to it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I need to take that for that. I like the disclaimers. Those are the ones that crack me up. Yeah, when the when the 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 symptom or the the effects are worse than the thing you're trying to cure, or, or the effects are the treatment. 
or, or what they're being treated for. Like if you have toenail fungus, it's like may cause toenail fungus. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. Or death or, or blindness. Yeah, it's, like, it's like you got, you, you like have a, a, an itchy elbow or something like that. And it's like may cause heart disease. I'm like, why? <laughs> You have to weigh the pros versus it's the great. cons. It's I mean, great. Like, you're going to be taking 19 other drugs to cure the symptoms of this drug that you did for the itch on your elbow. Yeah, I know. Why? Thanks, Big Pharma. Why? <laughs> no. It's like a vicious cycle. So I just take nothing. Except vitamin I. Vitamin I. Well, yeah. I got to take vitamin I. <laughs> I don't take vitamin I. We're not, we're not managing a day well. <laughs> um, yeah. So back to, back to you and back to your stories of, of growing up. Yeah. What what type of things were you engaged in as a young youth? Well, I mean, we already talked about like cheerleading, but yeah. I think that I was like the. Do you have any extracurricular activities besides <laughs> cheerleading? Like, I don't know. Were you one of those crazy wild party girls? I was gonna say yes. What? That I was the. My sister I was, was the a party girl. Typical cheerleader. What does that mean? I was the party girl. Like I was the girl that was. For those like, of you typical cheerleaders who were straight A students and planning to go I to college, I was a straight A student. Have, student. Have your like, college is lined up. That's so not fair. She may not be talking about you. So okay, so I was the stereotypical. Sorry, I should have said that cheerleader. Where you like you got everything together on the outside, like you got your straight A's and you're doing the cheerleading thing. Which hey, it's a sport. You guys are definitely athletes. Um, and then behind the scenes, you're, you're a party girl and you still enjoy yourself and you can like keep it all together and, and, you know, maintain both of those lives. So I did it and I did it well. That those sounds shows. like uh, a standard suburban wife, actually. Yeah. It was kind of my introduction. <laughs> <laughs> like on the outside, everything looks perfect, but you get them in there and they are a woo girl. Woo. Hey. A woo girl. Hey. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a woo girl is. Please explain. Well, so woo girls are the, um, are the, the also stereotypical. It's unfortunate, but like the girls that get together in packs and usually they come down here and they're here for like, you know, their, their, um, one of my lists, bachelorette party. That's it. Bachelorette party. Yeah. They get together and they're in downtown Charleston. They come in droves in like droves. March and April and all you can hear, you can hear it like a couple of blocks away from the middle of downtown. It's woo. It's that <laughs> over and over. That really hurts my ears. <laughs> and the reason that hurts my ears is not because I don't understand what you're saying. It's because... You're old. That too. Um, Mrs. Dadby and I, we travel a lot for work. Yeah. Right? And when we're coming back into Charleston on the plane, uh, nobody's from here. Mm -hmm. Nobody's coming. In fact, the last time I traveled a couple of weeks ago was coming back from California. So the first time I actually sat next to somebody that was coming home. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, I have so much in common. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I have no, nothing in common with anybody else on this plane. But it's packed full of wool girls. Mm -hmm. And it's packed full of golfing guys. They got their, you know, when you see the carousel coming out with all your luggage and stuff like that, it's nothing but golf clubs. Golf bags, yeah. Golf bags and golf clubs and wool girls. So the airport is full of them, and they're, you could definitely tell they're They're already drunk on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're already lit up, and, and I'm just like, I just want to go home. Yeah. I just want to get home. Yeah. And it's crazy. So woo girls, yeah. Well, I mean, I was a cheerleader, so there was a lot of wooing going on anyways, naturally. But mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I... This I, is on and off the field. Right. <laughs> it's just, I enjoyed myself a lot. It was a lot of fun. Hmm. It was a lot of fun. But I mean, if I hadn't have been, you know, into my, the extracurriculars, which disclaimer, I don't do those things anymore. Um, do you do them any less? Well, I don't do them, period. Oh, so, yeah, I do them a okay, lot less. Okay, okay. I don't you do them anymore. You didn't add. You just, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do them anymore. Um, I mean, if I hadn't been, who would have who would have taught you how to smoke pot what? appropriately? What? No, yeah. What? what? Yeah. So, okay. So, you remember the first time that you tried to smoke pot, right? Tried? Yeah. Yeah, you tried. You just didn't know how to do it appropriately. Like, whoa, you didn't actually, whoa, like, whoa, inhale whoa. and hold it whoa, in like whoa, you're supposed whoa. to. Whoa. And then our older brother thought that you were painting or you were doing something with paint thinner. Yeah, yeah. Because he you thought that's what that smell You was. think I'm naive. <laughs> Comes running around the corner. He's like, which one of you is painting? You're not supposed to be painting. Like, dude, that's not what that smell is. <laughs> and then there's you who threw 10 bucks out the window and you came out and you were like, I think I'm doing it wrong. 
What am I supposed to be feeling? Well, because much like everything else in my Gen X life, there was no instructions. There was no <laughs> precautions. There was no warning labels to tell me to do it right or wrong. I just kind of tried, failed, and hopefully I survived. Mm-hmm. But guess what? I did survive. Yeah, but then you needed a millennial to teach you how to do it right. So how about that? How about that? There's there's something to be said there. There is something to be there's said there. See, either can't... that or I would have tried until I figured it out, which uh, is the normal. I don't Gen think X you path. ever would have figured that out if you weren't actually like truly inhaling and holding it. Yeah, it's no. not a cigarette. It's not a cigarette. It's definitely not a cigarette. No, that's no. Uh, quite so... unfortunate. <laughs> it's a good thing that we are moving past that part in our lives, especially now. Yeah, uh, no, way too old for that. None of that crazy stuff. But it is pretty insane. Like. I mean, back then, like, pot was such a, a big taboo, and it now it's was. just, it's like, everywhere. The advertisements were the best. I mean, the only thing I can think about is a frying pan and an egg. Yeah. And that's why I wasn't supposed to do drugs, this is because your brain. I didn't want to look like breakfast. <laughs> and it wasn't even, like, who eats fried eggs like that? It was gross. Oh, you never eat fried eggs like that? No. No, it's awesome. A little bit of butter, just to throw the egg in there. Yeah. Hit it with some salt and pepper. Tastes like birds. <laughs> or, or drugs. Or drugs. Yeah, it tastes like brains or drugs. I mean, your choice. <laughs> It's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there was, um, there was my sweet 16. That what? Was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was already I, gone. I know, but you came back. I did. I came back at the request. I was actually, uh, I was already in the Navy and mm-hmm. I was coming back for my little leave period. And you just happened to have a sweet 16 party. And mommy asked me if I would watch over. Be the bouncer, basically. My Lord. <laughs> my Lord. <laughs> I, I mean, I remember some of it. I, I remember um, a guy got, like, so intoxicated that he was, it was coming out of both ends in our shower. At least he was in the shower. <laughs> I mean, at least. His girlfriend had the, the foresight to, like, put him in the shower. <laughs> but that was the first time that I ever had PJ. Uh, for those of you who don't know what PJ is, it is. It's, it's, well, it's purple Jesus. Some people call it different things, but we refer to it as PJ, but it's just, um, you take a cooler and you chop up some fruit and you put Everclear Mm -hmm. into it Mm -hmm. and, um, you let it ferment overnight and And then, then, and then you just, and then you drink it and you just drink it. Yeah. It's what teenagers used to do back in the day. That's what we used to do. I don't think they do that anymore. I I really hope not. We're all like seriously lucky that, that we didn't end up with, uh, alcohol poisoning. Some of us did. Some of us did. (laughs) I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't a big drinker back then. But I don't think that they do that at all. Like, like have stay. ragers? Yeah. I'm sure they do. No. I'm sure they do. We just don't know about it or we're oblivious. Or... Oh, my God. It's not teenagers any longer. Now it's more of the 20-something-year-old because our kid went to one and they call it jungle juice. Not jungle, jungle juice. Jungle juice. Jungle Correction juice. Correction from okay. Mrs. Dad bought jungle well, juice. Well, here in the South, we want to recognize Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so we call it purple Jesus. I don't even know where the purple Jesus came from. I have no from. idea. It's always been PJ, though. I know. It's, it's always, always been, been PJ. PJ. Yeah. Always. Maybe they think if you drink enough <laughs> so of it, you'll see Jesus. they go to Jesus. ragers now in their 20s. I don't know. I guess. I had kids. Yeah. I couldn't go to Rangers. I did too. I had kids. Yeah. I, yeah, I had my first kid when I was 19. 19? Yeah. yeah. 19. Yeah. You had to check with him to see if that's when you had your kid? <laughs> <laughs> check out. The math is right. I don't numbers. That's the difference though because now the new generation doesn't have kids. That's uh, true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, <laughs> they can't afford them. They're, they're waiting like a lot longer to get married. and uh, Or if they do get married. If they do get married. Yeah. And so... I saw a study one day uh, that the population is actually going to go down yeah, because in America because nobody's having kids. They don't want to. They don't want to. No, they too don't expensive. want to. Or they're, they're like too self-absorbed. This brings up my favorite topic. Hmm. My favorite topic on all of my videos, idiocracy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a documentary about the future. It's not a comedy. Okay. It's not. Think about it. Think are you about thinking what? about that? Are you talking about the movie? Yeah. Okay, I tried. I started to watch that, and, and BJ in the morning can attest to this. I maybe got through like 10 minutes, and I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever watched. You I'm need to done. watch the whole thing, Mm-mm. okay, because it's a future-told documentary. Really? About where we're going. I just feel like a lot of it didn't oh, no, age it's well. It's, you no, know, it aged perfectly. <laughs> it, it is 100% spot on. Down <sighs> to the point of just recently... They relax the dress code for politicians in, in Congress and the Senate. Okay. It's the Senate, I think, only. Well, now I mean, they, they're vaping in there now. No, but they, 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 they allowed so that they could just wear whatever. So what did they wear? Which, if you saw in the movie Idiocracy, 
that's what they were wearing was they were wearing basically long sleeve t-shirts okay and crocs well i mean crocs are pretty great that's where crocs came from from that movie so do you know the story behind this no okay you need to look this one up. Okay. I'm going to paraphrase the story. Mm-hmm. Basically, the uh, the set guys and the and the the wardrobe guys for the movie, they wanted to do stuff on a budget, and so they went and looked for uh, a pair of shoes that would be so ungodly insane that nobody would ever actually wear them. Yeah. And there was this startup company called Crocs that was very small at that time. Right. And so they said, "We're going to wear those because those are the most hideous things in the world, and nobody will ever wear them." Mm-hmm. Uh, And they even asked the director, like, hey, are you sure we want to use these? Because what if they turn into a thing? And he's like, no, no, it'll never happen. It's never going to happen. Yeah. And then they took off? Watch the movie. They're all wearing Crocs. Okay. This was before Crocs was a thing. Okay. What are we all wearing now? I'm guilty. I have a pair of Crocs. I know you do. I love my Crocs. They're pretty hideous. They're so comfy. Yeah. They're my house slippers. Yeah. Do you have Crocs? Um, I have the Croc sandals, Mm -hmm. and I wear Mm -hmm. them when I travel, Mm -hmm. but... Other than that. Crocs are everywhere. They are everywhere. They are. Idiocracy. It's playing out. Okay. It's going to happen. But what does that have to do with people not having kids? Well, because I I need to watch if you movie. watch the beginning of the movie, if you remember that the only people that were having kids were the people that were on the lower end of the income range. Okay. Right? Yeah. The intelligent people were giving all these reasons why they couldn't have kids. Mm-hmm. And so when you see the population explode, mm-hmm. it's exploding with people that were not as educated. Oh, so, okay, I got it, I got it. So, therefore, propagating idiocracy. Got it, Because the people that were on the upper end that were, you know, more educated didn't have kids. Huh. And so, that's where idiocracy came from was because of that. Got it. Repopulating. Those who were were repopulating were not the sharpest bowling balls in the room. Okay. So I'll have to check it out. So you need to watch the whole movie because that's a reoccurring topic in my videos mm-hmm. as to where we are and all the little hints and you know, okay. indications that we're getting closer and closer. Okay. Now you've got that Generation Alpha. They're slowing it down a little bit mm-hmm. because they're going back to the old ways Yeah. of learning how to do things and, you know, not being like that. Yeah. Living off the land, et cetera. Et cetera. Being knowledgeable, <laughs> being out there in the wild and the feral world called the outside. Yeah. And <laughs> the outdoors, <laughs> the the in of the outside. I yeah. Think they call that culturally sound. Culturally like, sound. Understanding your culture and your environment and politics is where they are not wanting to have kids. And it's not those that are edu- not uneducated. It's those that maybe aren't as worried about those type of Ah, gotcha. That's some, a new twist. Drop some knowledge drop there, some knowledge Mrs. Dadbod. Dad Bod. Just drop some knowledge on us. So, so. I feel so what educated. Mrs. Dadbod is saying is that the culturally knowledgeable mm-hmm. are going to die out, and we're going to be left with the others. <laughs> the others. <laughs> now, mind you, at a certain point in my life, I may have been considered. One of both. I still consider myself to be one of both. Um, no, you're 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 okay. You're no, pretty intact. No, no, you're pretty intact. No. When you say the others like that, that makes me think of like alien life forms. We don't. Yeah. No. The others. Yeah. Well, let's just say that <laughs> we're on a path, um, and we're not doing much to divert from that path. Yeah. We're probably going to get there. Yeah. It's probably not going to be in my lifetime. Hopefully, it's not going to be in my lifetime, but. If we ever see a TV show called Ouch My Balls, <laughs> that's my how beer. we know. That's how we know that we're there. So speaking of the others, what? we're speaking of alien life forms. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when our, our brother got the internet? Do you remember that? Uh, no. Okay. So, Refresh like, my memory. So like I distinctly remember him trying to explain the internet to me like what it was and like what the sounds were and everything and i just like i literally thought that he went up into his room and he was like he was body snatched like i could not just wrap my head around this futuristic alien conversation that he was having with people all over the world and now look where we are and And the odd thing is is even in those times the times before uh (laughs) Shameless plug to my own videos. Um, people across the entire world had no connection to each other. Yeah. But they grew up the exact same way. Right. 
I yeah. hear that all the time in the comments. They're like, oh, I did the exact same thing as you're explaining. Mm-hmm. But now when well, people are completely connected, they grow up in completely different ways. Right. Like it's completely the opposite of the way that that was before. I don't understand it. Yeah. It's a conundrum that I will never be able to solve. Yeah. But anyway, the yeah. internet. It was crazy. It was insane. And then I used to pick up the phone on accident and un- Why like, would you dis- do that? disconnect it because I wanted to talk to my friends, like have actual interactions and communicate with my Why? friends because the internet didn't exist. And that's how you talk to people. You called them. What? Yes. No. Yes. On no. a dial up phone that had dial buttons. I think ours had buttons. This was like before cordless phones. Cause we had like the cords that would extend like yes, all the we way. We had the Garfield phone. Yeah, yeah, we did have the, the Garfield, Garfield phone, phone, which that thing was awesome. Sadly, just made its way out of our house. I think probably like five years ago. It was awesome. You should have held on to it. It's probably worth some money I'm now. I'm sure it is. With the eyes that open up whenever you pull up this, <laughs> I love that phone. The Garfield phone. Yeah, the Garfield phone is pretty great. Rest in peace, Garfield. R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, Garfield's <laughs> gone. So the internet uh, and our brother. Yeah. The beginning of the end. Yeah. For He's real. A smart guy. He is a very smart He's guy. Very He's smart like guy. all into computers and he again I mean, tries who's to not into computers these days. You're hey, not no. you're not computery? No, I'm not computer. Like I know enough to to navigate my way around, but like some of the stuff that he understands that I would never get. And I mean, my kid, he's like, he's moving into like cybersecurity and stuff. And he tries to explain it to me. He's way computery. So computery. So it skips a generation. A lot of things. At least in your situation. <laughs> hmm. No, it's just, it's just not how I'm built. I'm not wired that way. What are you wired for? Um, I don't know. Like human interaction. <laughs> it's like, I like people. You know, that's not a thing anymore. I like people. It's not actually a thing. I try to make it a There's thing. There's no such thing as an extrovert anymore. What do you mean? It's been outlawed. I'm an extrovert. Correct. I've always been an extrovert. Yeah. But there's no more extroverts in this world. They're gone. So then what am I? I mean, you're like the last an anomaly. one standing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they should study you. They should. They should do lab tests oh on my you, God. poke you and prod you and cut you into little pieces. If they and... ever got a hold of me, good Lord, you don't want to get in this brain. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you don't want to get in here. Oh, man. So you asked me some of my favorite stories. Like, what are some of your favorite stories that you haven't already covered, like, on your podcast? But, like, I mean, like, specifically to our childhood. That's a tough one. Do you remember anything? I, you know, honestly, I don't really. I mean, I remember youth, but I don't have any particular stories. Oh, that were that's sad for you. It is very sad for me. <laughs> I think I kind or maybe of blocked once, it all out. Maybe once you learned how to smoke pot, you did a little bit too much. Uh. <laughs> The wheels are turning. Oh my gosh, the wheels are turning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I only did pot once. Just once. That's no, you did it more than once. From 1994 to 1997. <laughs> one time? Yeah, one experiment. In that three year yeah, window? Just one experiment the whole time. Oh, okay. Okay. That's all I did. And it failed. It, I don't know. Backstreet Boys. I'm getting a cue for Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Wait, we want to talk about that? Yeah. Are you sure? I think they're coming back. New Kids on the Block was my jam. Oh, New Kids on the Block. You're throwing it way back. Well, so like I liked Backstreet Boys and everything, but you want to talk about like the OG boy band? Shout out to all you guys. I know you're still there. Um, They're like in their 60s, by the way. I don't care. They still got it. You think? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen the Wahlberg? Well, okay, he's a Wahlberg, so uh, <laughs> he's just got genetics or like. Who, Donnie? Yeah. And Mark. Both of them. I know- Jenny McCarthy. Donnie is? Yes. Mm, all right, get it. It's very Jenny McCarthy. She's get hilarious. <laughs> I like her. She's, <laughs> She's funny. pretty funny. Yeah. But no, New Kids on the Block were my jam for real. Oh, so, that's like, awesome. I begged and begged and begged to have a hot pink bedroom. And you got one. I did. Because I had. Do you remember mine? No, I don't remember You yours. don't remember my bedroom, my themed bedroom that I got? What was yours? Yellow. <laughs> it's not a it was theme. yellow. Hold on. But what was the theme? Uh, just to, well, what was yellow and important back then? SpongeBob didn't even exist, no, so I don't SpongeBob. know. It wasn't SpongeBob. I don't know. Bart Simpson. Oh yeah, the Simpsons. I had a Bart Simpson bedroom. 
Yeah. And they had Bart Simpson dolls all over and my bed, yeah. my walls were yellow yeah. and my bed sheets were blue. Yeah. Which oddly enough is the same colors as the Minions. It is the same as the Minions. Yeah, yeah you're right. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I remember the Simpsons. We used to like every single Sunday. They just now stopped making the Simpsons. They did? Yeah. Oh. Right? They, are they still making the Simpsons? I thought they were still making them. They're still, yeah, no, they're, they're still making BJ them. BJ in the morning is looking it up. But I'm pretty sure because like we, like me and my kids like watch it. Yeah, but are they new episodes? I'm almost positive they are. And the Simpsons can tell the future too. Dude, you're Seriously. so, I know. They have had so many episodes that like, yeah. Yeah, they've been renewed until uh, 2025. 2025. Okay. Well, so right up there my, with Betty White. Like <laughs> My youth all the way to now. Yeah, they're still around. Holy and they're God. still freaking hilarious and on point. Wow. Yeah, I love them. 2025. I love them. But you know what? I'm like, I'm still super heartbroken about never being able to see New Kids on the Block in in concert. I never got to. I begged well, and begged and begged. Back. Maybe they'll go back on the road. Guess who did? BJ in the morning. BJ in the morning got to see New Kids on the Block yep. in concert. Yep, and he does not let me forget it. I oh, die a little bit inside. Seats. LL Cool J opened for them, dude. In Colorado. Yeah, LL Cool yeah. J. That was another one. Oh, I would have lost I my mind. He opened for New Kids on the Block. Did Did you know somebody? Uh, he I, went to all the cool concerts. Yeah, my dad worked a second job at the uh, Denver Coliseum. Holy cow! Yeah. Well, you missed out. I guess I you should did. have started dating him earlier. He was in Denver. I don't care. He wasn't down here this, yet. Holly hears excuses. You should use the internet. <laughs> they didn't even understand what the internet was. <laughs> if you were to use the internet, all things are possible with the internet. It's not like they uh, did. They even have chat rooms, like when the internet I don't know first what started. They had. I don't know what they had. I don't AOL. Whatever. All I remember is the DOS prompt, just sitting there blinking at me, scaring me. I didn't know what to do with the DOS prompt. Thad would come in and he would, he would just Smart press some buttons keys. and he would just do stuff and yeah. it would all of a sudden, poof, the game would start. Yeah. Like. I know. I don't understand how it worked. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. But you know what's really weird? Like some, there's still some companies that work with DOS based like computer yeah, systems. Yeah, but not like that. Uh. Okay. Not with the command prompt. Yeah, they do. When you're D-I-R backslash W. Yes, they do. CD space run. Yeah. They do because I've had to work for some of them. That's crazy. And how and and then you got like these new people that are coming in that don't even understand what a DOS based system is. They're like, "What are you talking about?" So then I feel like our older brother is trying to explain the internet to me when I'm explaining like DOS stuff to somebody else. I feel like there's a video there. Yeah, I think there's a video there. There's, I mean, there's still DOS based systems for sure because I've had wow. to, yeah, I've had to teach people. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, this is so good. It really is. Wow. It's well, crazy. hey, guess what? What? We're going to keep doing these podcasts. We're going to keep doing this kind of stuff. But for now, we're going to go to the comments. This is a section where we're going to go straight comments. to your comments. And we're going to read some of them aloud from you and talk about those things that you want us to talk about. But since we've never done this podcast before, mm -hmm. we're going to have to go to video comments. Yep. Okay. We so got to talk about some comments. That They're written on paper. This is on paper. There's no teleprompter. Break or out those uh, old man glasses. There it is. Oh, this is good times. Okay. Good times. From William Young. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> next OP skin for Call of Duty. William, I would love to be the next OP skin for Call of Duty. If you can make that happen or you know somebody, let me know. I don't know. Is call, are the Call of Duty people maybe? Do you think that like they I don't know. Listening? Call of Duty people, if you're watching this or you're hearing this, I would love to be a skin for you. The Dad Bod veteran would love to be a skin for you. It would be absolutely awesome. From Pamela Gaylord, I thought we'd see a shaven side of you. Either way, you're a cutie. Ugh. Pamela, <laughs> first and foremost, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but you will never see a shaven side of me. Why not? Because what's underneath this, the world doesn't need to see. Aww, okay? You don't have a cute butt chin I like don't me? Have, no, I, don't, I have chins. Chins, I have chins. plural? <laughs> I have chins underneath this, and my butt chin isn't vertical, it's horizontal, oh, and there are several of them <laughs> underneath there. So we are never going to expose that to the world. They don't need to see that. We're just going to keep that private. Wait, what if, like, what if you got to, like, 100 million followers? Okay, 100 million followers on any platform. Any I'll one share, platform. One platform. Pamela, did you hear that? One Start platform. sharing. Start sharing. One platform. I'll He'll shave, shave it for I'll 100, 100 million. I'll do it live. For 100 million, I'll do it live. Live? I'll do it live. We'll do a whole podcast of me trimming it into oh. different variations 
uh, and then we'll shave the whole thing off. This might be the only time I ever see you cry. Why? For It'll shaving? grow back. At 100 million? I don't care. You'd be pretty happy with care. that. Okay. I don't care. Okay. That's like literally twice as many as Ryan Reynolds. You can't have that. See? My Sorry. point. Set that lofty <laughs> goals. And if somebody, you, you always have to set a price. Set a price on what you're willing to give up to get there. Yeah. And you know what? It could be ridiculous, but if somebody's willing to pay it, you got to go, okay, I guess I'm going to do it. Okay. Got it. 100 million, Pamela. Emma Starkweather, please apologize to Mrs. Dad Bod Veteran, but I must say, you're an incredibly sexy man. <laughs> Emma, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Dad Bod, Emma apologizes. Emma apologizes. In advance. I can't. <laughs> thank you, Emma. Thank you. I'm, I'm not knocking your taste, but it's just so weird for, like, to hear this stuff. Why? People talking about you like this because you're my brother and it's gross. <laughs> Do you want to hear people? Hey, I'm sure that in the comments he wants to hear how sexy you guys think that I am. So we can talk about it next time. That won't bother you? Yeah. I don't care. It's a little... It's a little <laughs> you're a cheerleader. And? I was a football player. <laughs> what does that have anything you to do? You think I didn't hear that from the team? <laughs> Holy uh, cow. <laughs> you act like this is something new for me. Well, I guess like, I don't know. Oh, you have a really good point. My friends used to say it all the time. Correct. All the time. Correct. And then I was just like, mm -mm, no, we're not talking about oh, that. Oh, you're talking about me. Yeah. No, I'm talking about my friends talking about you. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Kids these days. From Michael Taxman. Is it on purpose that you sound like Bane from Batman? Don't get me wrong. It makes the stories more interesting. It is absolutely 100% on purpose that I sound like Bane from Batman. I can sound like a lot of things. The voice of Dad Bod, the veteran, uh, he is a mixture of many different styles of voice, mm -hmm. all culminated together into... Whatever he is. Whatever he is. He's, yeah. he's his own person. I mean, he's his own personality. He's his own individuality. There's no single origin source of that accent i think it's just a culmination of all of the voices that you've done over the years entertaining us at the dinner table <laughs> that's what i think of yes dinner table and other places yes, <laughs> yes. that's what that's kind of what he is all right uh-oh uh, mm. that's a contentious question uh-oh repo dragon the repo dad, is it repo repo dragon repo repo i can't read the dad one veteran soda pop or cola. Oh boy. The big debate. I read a backstory saying soda was used first, then pop a few years later. So let's talk about this. Let's unpack this. One. Let's unpack this. <laughs> you're not getting paid for this therapy session. You understand that, right? No, you're not getting paid for this therapy <laughs> session. It's not. It's soda. A hundred percent like so like in the South. She's it's, wrong. No. It's soda. Because like that's that's what it always mm -mm. has been. Mm -mm. Um mm -mm. The pop thing, though, like mm -hmm. our fam, so our family is from Ohio. That's where our extended, my, our mom, our dad, everybody, they're all from Ohio. That's where you get like, well, oh no, you don't say pop, do you? What do you say? Coke. Oh. It's a Coke. Why? Because everything's a Coke. No, everything's not a Coke. Everything's a Coke. You it's know what not. I'm talking about. Everything's a Coke. And then when they ask you what kind of Coke you want. Who well, asks you that? Like, nobody asks you that here. Yes, That's it, not, it, no. Yes. No. Yes. They don't. Yes, I'll have a Coke. What kind of Coke do you want? Do you Pepper. want diet or regular or Coke? Sprite. Like, that's it. Okay. Like, that's those, are, those are the two kind of... Cokes that, it, well, Coke no, Zero. No, Yeah. It's soda. Soda. It's soda is like Coke. the base of all of the, the things. Like, you have soda water, and then you add syrup into it, and it becomes whatever it is. Dr. Pepper, you know, Sprite, yada, yada. Coke. It's soda. Just go. Okay. Well, you guys can let us know what you think. Soda, pop, or Coke. And that's all the comments we have for to the comments section for today. But going forward, we'd like your comments on what you'd like to hear, questions you'd like to ask us, things you'd want Kelly, who's new to this world, mm -hmm. to answer. Yep. You want and a millennial you, opinion? The right one. You can ask me. And things that you want me to answer. Whatever you guys want to hear. Yeah. Bring it to the comments. Mrs. Dadbot will troll those comments. Troll. And bring them forward. Such a troll. horrible, no. such a horrible word. No, it's a good word. No, I don't like it. She's a troll. She, 
She's not a troll as in a troll. She's a troller. <laughs> Trolling the comments means like when you're in a boat and you troll around. You troll yeah, the comments. But people that like troll are the ones that are behind the keyboard and they're saying No, no, no I like, have trolls. I do have trolls. You do have trolls? I, do have I don't trolls. think I've ever seen a negative comment. No, I call them, they have a name. What? Negative influencers. Negative influencers. No, excuse me. Negative inspirationalists. Sorry. Negative okay. inspirationalists. That's what my trolls are. Mm. Uh, and my favorite troll, what is my favorite troll's name? What is his name? Let's get a little shout out to your favorite troll. He is. He's been with me for a very long time. Okay. Oh, man. I can't remember his name. Great guy. Mm. Always there to, you know, make sure that I get that little inspirational Nudge. push. You know, whenever I think that things are going great, he'll just be there to you know, bring me back down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. bring your ego back down a couple yeah. of notches. He's, he's a good guy. He always shows up. I haven't heard from him in a while. I hope you're okay. I hope Uh-oh. you're doing okay. He hasn't mm-hmm. shown up in the, in the comments. He's okay. Or maybe he doesn't pop to the top anymore. I don't know. He's, he's been there for a while. Mrs. Dad Maybe he found somebody else to, to troll. That somebody else that person is. Well, like, were you giving him the feedback that he wanted? Were you, like, I was. I did a couple of spotlight videos for <gasps> him. You did? I did. I must Especially have missed Especially when those. I hit my milestones. Nice. Uh, these were long, you know, a couple. Dutch, Dutch Hutter. That's his name. Dutch Hutter. Dutch. I love you. I miss you. Aw. Please come back. Mm. I don't know where you've been. <laughs> Dutch Hutter is his name. He okay. is my negative inspirationalist. He's the number one. I've I've had others that have tried, but Dutch has always been the number one. Oh, and he'll good stay for that him. Way. You got to aim for Dutch something. Dutch Hutter on TikTok. Check him out. He's a good guy. <laughs> got to aim a for something. Troll, I realize. I've looked at some of his other work. Uh, yeah. And he trolls others. Oh, um, he's good done for some him. Good, but that, that's a troll. Okay. Now what the dad bot or Mrs. Dad bot veteran does is trolling. She's, she's trolls. She trolls. She the, trolls the comments. Okay. Right. She's okay. not a troll. Okay. Yeah, like no, Dutch's. I feel like she's super poised when she engages. Yeah, she's very good at it. And then she also picks out these comments for yeah. our podcast. This has been fun. This has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. When do you want to do it? Two weeks? We can, yeah, let's, let's do it again do, in another two weeks. Do it you guys, two weeks? Two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Well, for those of you who are watching and you're still watching throughout this entire thing, please make sure you smash that subscribe button because <laughs> I'd love to have you here. And hit the notify button as well so you can... Like and subscribe. Know when all of these great things come up. Yeah. Because we do this for you. We're not actually doing it for ourselves, are we? Mm Mm-mm. Nope. We're here for your entertainment. Your entertainment. Your entertainment. So with that said, also, I just want to plug my merch. Is that okay if I plug my merch? Plug your merch, man. I got to plug my merch. You got to I know my merch store is looking a little thin right now. I had some hats in there. You guys bought them all. They're all gone. I've got more on order. They're coming. They'll be here soon. As soon as they're there, you'll know in a video. Yeah. Also, I've got the coins. The 2024 commemorative Dad Bod Veteran Challenge coins will be out November-ish. So where can people get this stuff? If you look in the link tree on my bio, it will take you to my Shopify store. All of this is done by me. There's Mm -hmm. no third party that's involved in this. So I'm doing all the packaging. Put nice little love notes in every one of my packages. Check out the merch store. Get a love note. Little thing to help keep this thing going. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Good for you. Good times, Kel. Yeah, was it was fun. fun. It was super Let's fun. Let's do it again. We should. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Have yourself a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next episode. In the meantime, check your feelings. Bye. What's our intro going to sound like? Welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it needs to go upstairs because I don't want to have to change everything in the house for this. And now the true feelings come out. Yeah. <laughs> Mom's mad. <laughs> I don't like it when mom and dad fight. <laughs> Only on days and didn't why. <sighs>